Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to add this VG file in your Java Swing application. Um, let's proceed. Then proceed to nbn uh, repository.com. Then type plot log. Then select this number two, plot log extras. Then select this 3.2.5. Then copy this uh, dependency. Then proceed to your NetBeans form, your project form. Then paste here. Then save your form. Then build with dependency to download this dependency to your um, local repository. So click this um, this one menu. Then select this icon in the uh, properties. Then select uh, custom code. There's no um, SVG file, so let's proceed to uh, fonts.google.com. Then select this icon. Then search uh, person. Then select this one, person. Then download this SVG file. Then select the location. Then let's um, rename this um, file to person. Then copy this uh, person. Uh, let's close this person. No fun. Copy this person, then proceed to your NetBeans, then uh, click this source packages, then select folder to add folder. So let's name it uh, re resources. Then let's remove this folder, uh, this name of the folder. Then inside of the main folder, there's uh, resources. So let's click finish. Then it is created then inside the <coughs> resources folder let's add um svg folder then right click this folder then paste the person svg then here in your um gprim plot lock, click this uh, menu then proceed to properties then in the properties there's icon then uh, select this custom code then let's type new um, plot svg icon then parameter which is the location of uh, svg file then let's type this uh, svg folder svg then the file name person that is vg then okay close then let's try to run the project there's an error because we can we don't import the svg plot is svg icon so here let's um search the de dependency then check the local dependency so we download this uh, dependency then add then after that we add then let's add import this flat svg icon it is imported here this one so there's no error so let's save then let's try to run the project to see the changes so there's icon here um the uh the color is black then if we change to Plot light, this is plot light, then plot light uh, dark. So still the color of the SVG file is black. Then the color is still black. Okay, so let's change the color of the SVG file. So to format this, to indent the code, Alt Shift F. Then after the path, let's add fill. 
equal then the color uh, let's add the color supported from plotlop so let's put a uh, hashtag then 6e 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 uh, 6e 60 okay so save so let's try again to see the color which is this is color gray this is uh, supported so the change of this is gray then if we change to flat lap dark then it is um lighter gray okay almost white then carbon then if we change to flat light so back to gray so let's um i will give you the example how to add um, icon to j labels it's the same so let's um proceed to click this one then let's copy this code copy then click this uh, j label if, if you want to add a svg file so proceed to icon then custom code paste okay then g button icon and custom code paste okay <clears throat> the next is uh let's run this project then we add um three icons here if we change to dark then flat okay so there's the changes of the color next is we need to separate this uh, embedded because this is embedded menu bar so close this one then let's proceed to this okay Up, go to main menu then let's let's put uh, system then put a set property then our key is flat flat love then menu bar embedded then the value is false so that then let's try if it is separated so this this is separated so next is let's add icon to the gframe proceed to gframe here let's add this code um, copy then let's uh but uh, let's put icon here icon then let's add icon to the g frame set icon image then let's put icon then get the image because this uh method require image image class so let's put uh image okay this is a uh, image class so it returned to image so let's try to run this project run so there's um icon here for our g print so there's icon okay so thank you guys for watching um see you next video bye